Hi, good morning. It's, it's the 3rd of November, new month. I think daylight saving time ends today, so which means fall back, which means we gotta set the clock back an hour, which means uh, when you leave, uh, it's, I'm trying to remember the, the logic in it. Does it mean that when it's really, I'm leaving the house at 7 o'clock, it's really uh, 8 o'clock, right? Which, uh, it's supposed to be lighter. I think it gets darker quicker. I think that's the whole thing about daylight saving time. Anyway, in the winter time. Anyway, uh, daylight saving time ends uh, this weekend or this tonight, I guess, or technically tomorrow. It ends, so you fall back an hour. Anyway, um, a little drama with it. I was trying to record this. I woke up, believe it or not, <laughs> uh, seven o'clock. It's right now. It's eight thirty-five. And I was going to do the vlog, but uh, I couldn't get my web camera to load. Kept not responding, not responding. And then finally, I just took my iPhone and recorded it. Put it on my little mini tripod there. I have that little mini tripod there. And I put it up here and I recorded it. Well, actually, I held it in my hand like this and I recorded it around a 20 minute <laughs> in bed vlog. But I was trying to load it. And it just kept taking forever to load. So, what I'll do is, um, this vlog is going to be a little shorter because I have to kind of leave my house try about, in a, about an hour to go see Bohemian Rhapsody, which I want to see very badly. And I was trying to figure out a way to see two movies, but I think I might just see Bohemian Rhapsody and call it a day. And next week, I think the, the, the Dragon Tattoo movie comes out next week, which I want to see. Uh, Claire, uh, Today. My name Claire. Uh, doesn't matter. I will see that next week. But anyway, uh, and also, believe it or not, uh, you can see the lighting is probably a little bit dimmer on this side because my light situation here is like I have two lights. Uh, well, the light thing is one light bulb that way, one light bulb facing this way. And believe it or not, when I was laying in bed get, trying to re get my camera, to, web camera to, to work. The light bulb that's facing this way exploded, basically just exploded, <laughs> and the glass shattered all over here. I had to sweep that up, and I still got to sweep it up with some more because I think I still see little shards of glass, which I don't want to get my foot cut on. <laughs> so I may do another sweeping of this. But anyway, that's the first time I say that it just exploded the light bulb. So when I come back for the movies, I'll just. Uh, unscrew the remaining piece <laughs> that's stuck in there out and put a new light bulb in there uh, so if the lighting is not as good it's because that's the reason uh, anyway um, like I said today I'm going to see Bohemian Rhapsody for first I was trying to figure out a way to see two movies maybe but maybe I'll just see the one Bohemian Rhapsody definitely for sure and then get back up town and do my review of that and do a little movie shopping and food shopping and get back in the house it rained yesterday, and it was actually 70 degrees in November. November 2nd, it was like 70 degrees in New York. And tell me global warming doesn't work. Who could pick 70 degrees in November? And it rained last night into the morning. I don't know what the temperature's going to be like today. Hold on, let me look. I'll tell you. Uh, weather. Oops. Okay. Let's see. Supposed to be 61 the high today. Winter today, currently 68. Chance of rain, 0%, so not going to rain today. Okay, that's good. Just going to be cloudy, I think. But right now, it's, believe it or not, 60 degrees in the Bronx right now. And that's going to be the high. And then the temperature will just go down a little bit. By the time I come out of the movies, it'll be like 54. So by the time I get back out of the house, it'll probably be around 55 degrees. So the temperature is basically not going to go down a little bit, but and then tomorrow it's supposed to be 54, 56 on Monday, 65 on Tuesday, 61 on Wednesday, 55 on Thursday. We're supposed to at least the sun's supposed to come out tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday. Then rain again on Saturday and Friday and Saturday again, yeah. and then the temperature's supposed to go down. But anyway, that's the weather. Uh, like I said, I was like I said, what I'll do, I'm going to try to. I still have. My 20 minute rant blog <laughs> that I tried to upload, which is just taking too long to load. So I just stopped it and just, I'm going to record this, <coughs> excuse me, this quick one. 
so I can get this up before I go to the movies. Maybe I'll, when I come back, I'll load it again and just put that up as an, like an extra to my original vlog, my 20 minute rant. I kind of went on a rant about work and stuff. So I kind of dragged it, you know, made the rant, made the vlog about 20 minutes, uh, which was long. It was just taking way too long to load. So I think I'll upload that when I come back. That'll be my unfiltered vlog. I don't know if I should put it on this channel or I'll put it on my other channel. No, I'll put it on this channel. It is a vlog, and it'll be my unfiltered vlog. I'll call it that, my unfiltered original vlog. So you can see what I was ranting and raving about. And like I said, I was lying down this way with holding my tripod in my hand there. So you, you get the you get the funny angle. Anyway, uh, so let me uh, I just want to end this vlog. I don't want to drag it out too long because, like I said, I gotta get ready for uh, for the movies and stuff. And, uh, like I said, but as far as work is concerned, I'll just mention a little bit about work. Work was just frustrating. Frustrating because we couldn't get supplies that we needed. And we had a big job we were trying to run. And we're getting people trying to bombard us with work. And, again, one thing I am going to mention also as well, my boss has no but We have a saying at my job that they fold like a cheap suit. And sure enough, they did again. That was a a job that was supposed to be a wrecked job that they came to us and we told us we don't do that okay it's because it's a wrecked job and it is but again my boss was out tuesday wednesday thirty six she came back friday and she was catching up and sure enough she found out about it and then now she's trying to see the capacity of the scan instead of sending that stuff back and that stuff up and sending it to archives okay and having them scan it for the client no she's going to have try to have us do four or five drawers of work which is not our front, it's supposed to be a records function, but she's going to try to get us to do it. Okay, and like I said, they cave automatically all the time. And I, and I just told her, I was frustrated, and I told her, listen, you always get us to do the job, and you get us, you always volunteer us for stuff, but you never have somebody come over here and help us. Okay, and I said, and I said, that's the truth. You, you never get anybody to come over and help us. We always got to help the mail, you got to help audio visual, right? But nobody ever comes, you got to help us do the scanning, right? But nobody ever comes over here and helps us, okay? So, that's my that's my frustration with her. Okay, that, like I said, that she caves. She doesn't stick up for us, okay? And that's my beef with her, okay? Especially with the records thing. That she should have automatically pushed back at them and told them, listen, that's not what the print shop does, okay? And you want that done, send it to Iron Mountain and get them to do it, okay? But no, she's going to cave and she's going to try to wiggle a way out for us to do it okay and just just no no back off which i, I can't stand it you at least stick up for your people we bust our behind in that place and she doesn't stick up for us okay you're supposed to have our back okay that's my frustration with you okay and that's and i said and that's i told her i said my frustration is that that we always got to volunteer for everything but you never send anybody over here to help us okay we got to help the mail room. we got to help audio visual now we got to help records Okay, but nobody comes over here and helps us. Okay, so it's spamming the BS. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go see Bohemian Rhapsody. So look for my review of that later, and look for my unfiltered blog, which I, I already downloaded off my phone. It's on my computer. I'm gonna try to upload that because I'll have more time for it to load, and then upload that so you can see my original rant. Okay, and uh, so that's my iPad with a message about. Okay, from a candidate being dragged off stage to a joke spawn fight. Here's a look at top debate blunders of 2018 midterms. Uh, who cares? Anyway, uh, and I'm definitely going to vote too, and that's another thing. I have my thing for voting. I have my thing for voting Tuesday. And this is an important election. I'm voting. Okay, I got my thing. My usual location, the school, I know where that is. So Tuesday, I'm going to wake up a little bit early and vote before I go to work. And then go to work. Okay, it's important. Get out there and vote, okay? Okay, people sacrifice themselves. I thought about the logic of that. I saw somebody saying that, yeah, people sacrifice themselves so of course I have the right to vote, so vote, okay? Which makes perfect sense, and it's the right thing to do. Anyway, uh, hope everybody have a great, safe weekend. Stay safe, be well, okay? Uh, I have links to my social media in the description box, links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.